I would absolutely never, ever, ever recommend that anyone attempt to remove a stump from a chain link fence. I did it, and it was definitely a learning experience, but it's not something I would ever do again. I hope that this video helps someone who may be considering removing a stump that's intertwined with a chain link fence. And I'm probably only saying this because of the amount of damage that was caused trying to get the stump out. If it had worked out, I probably wouldn't say that I regret it. But I know for a fact, a uh, lesson learned, is that it doesn't always work out. And so now, at this point, what I'm going to do is replace the chain link. This is being done in Western North Carolina, and I spent four days trying to find somewhere that would sell me a foot wide piece of chain link, a foot wide, four feet tall, because everywhere I looked, the only thing they had was rolls of chain link fence. And since I only need a foot, I didn't want to have 49 feet of chain link fence just sitting around. I've got a, enough stuff sitting around the yard that's excess from projects so I didn't want to have that sitting around as well I finally did find a place and initially uh, they told me they only sold in bolt or by the roll but I went to a fence company sat out in the parking lot waited for someone that worked in the yard and instead of going to the office I went to this person and asked if they happened to just have a foot wide piece or bigger and the guy was more than willing to look in the yard to see if they had some and he gave me a 10 foot wide by four feet tall piece and i paid twenty dollars so two dollars a foot and i think it's almost seven dollars a foot if you buy a roll it's a total of five links across that need to come out. I don't have a fence puller and I don't want to buy one because I think they're around 65 to 90 dollars. Uh, I don't know how often I'll be repairing a fence um, so it's not something I want to have sitting around as well. So I'm going to attempt to do this while maintaining the integrity of the fence. This is my chain link fence repair kit done is I've marked where I'm going to remove chain link so it's this one here to this one here so also when I take the piece that I'm going to replace off this new stuff I want to make sure that the orientation of this link is the same as this one I don't want to start with that piece right there that's going the opposite direction so I want to match what I'm replacing as far as orientation of the, the top portion of the fence. I unlocked it down here at the bottom. Now I'm just weaving this strand out. 
so that I can put it in place. This extra piece right here I need to take off as well because I only need a total of five. One, two, three, four, and then my fifth one. As I stated previously, I don't have a fence puller, so what I've done is I've used these three tie down straps. And what I've done is put it way outside of the work area. The work area is right there. So I put them way to the outside, and it's basically just to keep the fence where where it is uh, without it being pulled out of place. And this fence is on a slope, so it's it's not straight up and down. What I also did is made sure the straps were to the inside of the fence, out of the way, so that I can work on the outside of the fence. It's all good in uh, theory, but uh, we'll see how it all works out. All right, change 2112. So I originally had the tie down straps on the chain link knowing that it would probably mangle the or disfigure the squares in the chain link so what I did is put some flat bar on both sides unfortunately I didn't have the same kind for over on this side and so the bars are in there and now what I'm using is C clamps and the C clamps allow me to twist the piece that I'm removing out by pulling it in and uh, hopefully it will give me enough room to weave these out and then I'll take that piece out and put the new piece in. Not perfect, but it's giving me just enough that I can twist this piece out. side is out. I slipped the replacement piece in here and weaved it through and now I'm moving the C-clamps over so that I can put the new chain link piece through to the other side.
Alright, there we go. Fence is back in place. Just really need to remove all the straps and put these aluminum straps back across the fence and across the post. Keep the chain link in place. I had to redo this portion of the video because I thought there was enough light, but when I reviewed the footage, it was too dark for the camera to record it. So anyway, this is the end product of my work. I'm sure many people will say there's better ways of doing this, probably buying a fence puller and other tools, but in the end it worked out. I've got all my aluminum fence ties in place on the top rail and also on the post. Uh, the fence is pretty pretty tight. So in the end I did maintain the integrity of the fence putting that section in. I personally think it came out pretty good for replacing a midsection in a fence. Probably would have been a whole lot easier if it was towards the end of the fence. But it's, it. it's done worked out. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks again.